or recover from your own journey. I'm still in a happy mood. Um, yesterday I was uh, watching my team back for last one. <laughs> now I'm trying to find out how I get from Copenhagen to Rome on the 27th after a 5 o'clock session here. Not nice and low. Today we're going to look at um, different um, environments in which to learn leadership and strategy. Strategy is a crucial part of um, any form of business as, as, as a leadership. It's also important that you also get a feeling for how to um, experiment. You know, if you look at the great leaders, business leaders or sports leaders, they don't do it by staying within a confined box. You know, life is about experimenting. The more you experiment, the more you actually learn. You know, about different things. Business as well, I've seen a lot of business leaders who spend a lot of time in their offices and you find that they have this great adage, you know, I've got 20 years experience. The truth is they've got one year's experience they've used 20 times. I, they just keep doing the same things again and again and again. If you really want truly 20 years experience, then you have to experiment. You have to try new things, you have to try different things. You have to expose yourself to different situations. You've got to move yourself outside your comfort zone. We all have to. And there's probably one thing that stops us from doing that. What do you think it is? Fear. Fear. Fear is a big factor. Which is why, you know, when you look at great leaders, fear is the one thing that they see as a challenge, not as an obstacle. What else? Attitude. Attitude, yeah. Attitude. Sometimes we just don't want to, to try it again. It's easier to turn around and say, this doesn't work for me. Sometimes it's better to look at something and say, can I take something away from that act and use that opposed to say, actually, this doesn't work. You know, in creativity, you want to be asking the question, how do I make this work? Not, this can't work. You know, you go to, uh, when, when I'm doing some of my strategy sessions, companies turn around and say, let's go for a realistic figure of growth. Realistic. What's generally realistic? What's realistic for you? If you, were, if, you had to, if you were in charge of a business, what, as a percentage, what's a realistic growth for you for next year? What would be realistic? 200 Give me a number. As, yeah, as a percentage. How much growth do you think you could achieve as a business leader next year? 200%? 300%? <laughs> yeah, you believe you could do it? That's good. Because a lot of times people turn around and say 5%, 10%. <laughs> but when they go for like 10%, what's the most they're going to achieve? <laughs> they might achieve two. But the most they'll achieve is 5 or 10%. Because once you get to that mental, you just start slowing down. But if you go for 200% or 100% growth, what do you have to do to be successful? <laughs> Sorry? You have to do extra work, but that's not enough. Because if you've been successful and to do 100% and you just carry on doing, working harder, the chances are you're not going to hit your 100%. What do you have to do? Be determined. You have to be determined, but even then, that might not be enough. Be creative. You have to be creative. You have to do something different. You have to experiment. You have to challenge. You have to go outside the traditional boundaries. And you have to try something different. That's why. Some people will turn around and say, 100%, I can't be judged. You know, people were saying when um, Roger Bannister did the, you know who Roger Bannister is? First guy who did the four minute mile. Up until he did the four minute mile, people said it can't be done. After he did the four minute mile, a week later, six people had done the four minute mile. This self-belief, this, this thing that we've got here, is very powerful. And how we build that power is by connecting with our body and our mind. That's why, you know, you see these sort of people who walk on coal, hot coal, and you know, do all these wonderful things. Those come through mental strength, not through just purely physical strength. So the point really is, and I can understand, you know, it's a, it's a different environment, it's something that's going to be slightly unique that you're used to. But 
as Jay said, you don't have to do anything. But then you have to ask yourself the question, are you being honest to yourself? Are you allowing yourself to experiment? Are you allowing yourself to challenge and explore? Because at the end of the day, there should be no fear. Because one thing I guarantee, no one's going to get hurt, no one's going to get put into something that they don't want to do. All you've got is opportunity to learn. And uh, we'll try different things to see what works. You know, I've got a, I've got a, um, a directory of different activities that we can play around with and see which ones work, which ones don't work. We're going to put you into team, have a little bit of team, team stuff as well. Maybe have you, give yourself a little bit of competition. You know? Some people like competition, some people don't. That's fine as well. You have different people who don't like to compete. You'll have a different role within the team. So, yeah, you know, just don't have, don't have any fear from that. <laughs> I think I'll be the news. <laughs> uh, now, in terms of leadership, firstly, if I can just describe to you what the strategic, you know, in terms of strategy, what strategy is about. Firstly, we're looking at developing the strategic concept. The first part of leadership, the first part of if you're going in as a management consultant into an organisation, the company wants to know what we're doing, where are we going, what's our strategic concept, what's the philosophy of what the company is going to be aiming for, what's the direction. Once we've got the direction, how do we implement it, how do we deliver, or how do we, sorry, not deliver, lead change. How do we lead change, how do we make that uh, concept come alive. And then the third element, which is what sport brings to the whole arena, is that a lot of companies feel, we've implemented change, great, but that's not enough. You know, if you want to be successful, it's not enough just to say you've done the changes. You actually have to deliver high performance. If you're an athlete or you're involved in sport, you can't turn around and say, yeah, I've been training for three years and that's it. You have to measure, you have to see how successful you've been, you have to identify and define performance levels. Now to do that, the key elements that we're looking at in terms of leadership, we'll, we'll come to in just a second, but what do you see as the key attributes of a a good business leader. What is the attributes of a good business leader? Visionary. Visionary? Yeah. Do you want to explain what we mean by visionary? Because one of the things that I'd like you to take away from today is um, to get rid of the, the bullshit speak. Yeah? Because as a management consultant, we see it every day. You know, you go into a company, everyone knows the language now. You know, everyone's done MBAs, everyone's done all these programs. How do you add the quality? How do you actually make visionary come alive? So what do we mean by, by the word visionary? What does it actually mean? Long term focus. What's long term? Like where the company has been started. But what's long term? 20 years, 30 years, where the company's uh, time period. Okay, but is it the time period of the company? What, what is the key factor that makes you think about 20 years, 30 years? You go to Japan, it's 150 years. You know, companies like uh, Matsushi have 150 year long visions. What, is it, what, what, what makes you think of visionary as being 100 years, 20 years, 30 years? What's the key factor there? Change. Change. Changes, ch change is a key element, but we've got to think what makes some a company think of some companies think of 20 years, some companies think of 10 years, some five, some hundred years. What's 